Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Copilot Learning Hub Live. OK, so one huge request we've been getting from folks, all of you out there, are can you show us a few more good prompts for the Power Platform? All over the Power Platform are these little prompty boxes. And we say, you know, write words in them. Do good things. And we don't specify what words to write or what good things to do. So we decide to bring along an expert. And she's probably someone who's very familiar to all of you in the Power Platform and dynamic space. Everyone, please welcome Anna Ines Urutia to our show today. Hello, Anna. Hi, how are you doing? All good? I'm so good. Please introduce yourself, reintroduce yourself all to right. all of our amazing watchers. Um, hi, everyone. My name is Anna Ines Urrutia, but Anna is fine. Um, I'm an MVP, and I've been MVP since 2020, so I'm quite proud of that. And I work a lot with AI, and that means that prompting within uh, Power, Power Platform, uh, it's a big thing for me. I do work with Power Platform and also Dynamics, and I really like my focus, and you will see this in the example that I have today, it's mainly on the HR space. I love this because you are so passionate about making sure that people who work in HR have the right tools to do their job. And this has long been such an underserved, under, I don't know, um, invested in area because people say, oh, okay, we'll think about HR later. <laughs> and we it never gets the attention of like legal or finance or all of these things. And you have such an interesting background because you come from a psychology background. And you said, wait, I can do a lot with applying psychology and tech and now AI combined into really bringing so much focus on AI and HR, specifically around co-pilots and power platform dynamics. So I love the work you do because you have such a good niche. When I talk about career niche, I always point to you because you have crafted such a good one for yourself and something that applies to every company in the world and organization in every country. So thank you. Thank you for that work. Of course. Um, OK. So <laughs> yeah, absolutely. If I may add something there, Donna, please. I think also it's one of the a business that does not have a lot of attention, as you said, mm -hmm. and it's so easy to help them that I hope this gives inspiration to everyone out there to improve their HR department. I love that. Okay, so if HR people, people who know HR people, pay attention because these are going to help you in your business. All right, show us. What have, what have we got? Good. So there are two main things that we have within Power Platform that can help and, or that are relatable to power, uh, prompting engineer. So we, as you're seeing here, uh, we have we're in the power make power powerapps.com and you can see here that we already have a prompt that we could use. I'm not going to walk you through how to create a, an application from here, but you can track it. Y you can try it. Um, here you can see that you have some examples and I really invite you to, to create one of this. We're not going to see that today. What we're going to see is how we can uh, use AI prompts and prompts within the applications. So I will show you here in the side of Power Platform, uh, sorry, Power Apps menu, we have AI Hub. We go here and you will see that there's plenty of stuff happening and this here in the top will move and so on. Mm -hmm. But don't worry. Uh, we're going to go to prompts because this is what we want to, to work with. And within prompts, you can see that we have plenty of information or plenty of things we could use. Um, the one that I'm going to show you today is this extract information and then summarize text. So uh, I will show you a real example of how we did it with a real use case. So here you can see that um, if we select the prompt itself as extract information from text. We will have an example and then we can add um, our input in this case, which is uh, the sample. We could add the simple data and then test it in order to understand how this prompt works. Uh, the good thing about this prompt that we have here is that um, we can reuse them into applications or power automates, uh, SDF flows, or any other uh, app in, like. May, most of the things that we have in Power Platform. So uh, you can see that there's it's it's not a lot, but it's quite good and it can be then used. So what you will create is your AI prompt library and mm -hmm. April has made a lot of work and videos about it. So you can find that there and you will have them here. And that means that if you have them here, it means that they can be consumed by your apps or your automations. One thing that I will show you before we, we dive into the example that I have is 
you see that here we are in powerapps.makethatpowerapps.com. Mm -hmm. But if we go to makethatpowerapps.automate.com, you can see that we also have the AI Hub. So it doesn't matter really where you're consuming mm -hmm. the AI Hub, you will find the same information and you will find the AI prompts because it's a library that is cross platforms. Um, and that means that you can consume it uh, from one place or the other. You see that it's the same, just changes the color and that's it. Um, what I would like to show you today about prompting is um, my friend Anisa and I, we created an application that is for uh, tracking candidates. And what, we'd like, what we did is we created an AI prompt that is the one that um, I will show you in a minute that um, pretty much what it does is uh, extracts all these fields that I mentioned, um, extracts all this information, personal information from a CV, from a document, mm -hmm. and then using this AI prompt, uh, just gathers, reads all that information and brings it together in a short summary. So um, for people who are interviewing and it takes ages to review all the CVs, you have everything here in one place. Mm. Um, this took us a lot of work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this looks uh, like a lot of work right here. And you know, yeah. I talk about this use case all the time. How can recruiters and HR people look at a whole bunch of CVs using prompts rather than opening each one? But you've actually built the thing. That's great. Yep. We did it. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, Denise Amihai and myself, we did it together. We worked in the architecture. And yeah, the idea was to have something and we didn't use, so e everything that you're seeing here is low code. We didn't use any oh. uh, very, Ooh. very deep code. We just have uh, our, um, yeah, the, the CV, the, the PDF that I will open so you can see it. And uh, you can see that we have a CV that has, it's, structured document with all the information but it doesn't have it there's not any you know we, mm -hmm. we're not trying to fool you we didn't create anything in the back that is mm -hmm. written uh, from power platform that's that's taking exactly what it is but it's working in the back so we have uh, and we did on the marvel universe because <laughs> i don't know my friend likes because that's funny, though. Uh, it's funny. I like it. Um, so, yeah, this this prompts that or yeah, the, the, what what this prompts that I show you here make, it's basically extract all this information and then create the summarization that the summarization, we try to make it a little bit fun because it's his demo purposes. <laughs> um, but you can see that uh, that they're fun, they're not uh, very formal, but you can tailor that b based on your business. Um, before I show you a bit more about prompting, I would like to tell you that um, this is also, while this is a very niche, um, let's say, concept for HR uh, or application for HR, this can be used in many scenarios. So it can be used, for example, in client proposals. I also mm -hmm. see it in finance. So, you know, it's while this is just a use case, it can be relatable to other mm -hmm. uh, businesses as well. I love it. Good. I can completely see <laughs> this being used for like, um, you know when you do like a call for proposals for um, yes. hiring a vendor to come work on some project for you, like videos, like you're saying, finance, legal, events, all sorts of things. Anytime you're collecting, or grants actually, right? Anyone who does grants, like please submit your grant proposal. Um, looking through large batches of documents that are similarly themed with a few keywords that you know is gonna show up in every single one, which is so cool. Yeah, yeah, I love it. I love this. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was thinking about when you were talking, I was thinking about the RFPs and all mm -hmm. of that pieces of that you will receive as a company that require a lot of processing. Mm -hmm. So um, we use the AI prompts. We also use AI Builder or AI Models. I don't know the name this week, but <laughs> uh, we use both of them. And um, I will show you that in a minute. But here you can see that we also have Copilot. So this is the other place where yes. we can prompt, right? And this is where things are can go downhill or uphill, <laughs> depending on the skill that you have on prompt engineering. Um, Actually, just as a short, like between brackets, uh, I've learned how to prompt based on Microsoft Designer because oh. I know what you want, what I want to achieve, mm -hmm. and I use it as an excuse. Mm -hmm. So I will be writing a blog about that um, and how to it. like practice right your skills mm -hmm. on prompting. Um, it's like a, a uh, an early stage of prompting mm -hmm. within uh, Power Platform. So here it's where you are going to actually ask 
the application what you want. So mm -hmm. here you see that in the main, in the home page, we have a list of candidates, a lot of candidates, right? So um, as, an, as a person that works in HR, I don't have enough time. Well, in here we have 23, 23 but I don't, I don't have time to read all those CVs. So I'm mm -hmm. going to ask for, um, uh, tell me about the candidate Tony Stark, for example. <laughs> And let's see if it works, because mm -hmm. that's when uh, we'll see if the uh, prompt engineer is correct. See, it's not correct. Oh. So <laughs> uh -oh. we, can, we can be clear, a bit more clear. I would like to know uh, the details on the experience for uh, the candidate Tony Stark. And hopefully this will retrieve... Hopefully, live copilot uh, demos. A little bit more are, of it. My yeah. God. <laughs> there you go. Mm -hmm. So you can see the difference between the prompts, right? Yeah. The first one is a bit. It doesn't have the context. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have the what the outcome that I want to. Mm -hmm. You know, it's very open, um, and that means that it's not the, the the copilot in the back is not able to retrieve actually the information because it doesn't understand the context. But then in the second one, it's like, I know I want to know the details of the experience of this candidate. So I'm providing the where, who and what mm -hmm. I want to extract. Uh, here is giving us just a short, you know, summary. And then if I want to know a bit more, I can select and I will dive into Tony Stark, um, like, you know, uh, mm -hmm record let's say i will try another prompt mm -hmm. that it's um it's instead of me asking for a person or a candidate it's the application finding a candidate for um a certain um vacancy uh which candidate has a ph sorry p phd in uh, physics because the the oh. job opening that I have, uh -huh. it it requires a PhD in physics. So if this, <laughs> <laughs> so there's no candidate with PhD physics. Hmm. You can see, uh, but we can find someone else. Like, uh, do we have any candidate with uh, cyber security security education? And this should give is if I'm not wrong, you should give us back some results and we can dive into those results as well. So basically, no, I'm not lucky today. Mm -hmm. I don't know what's going on. Mm -hmm. It's, it's um, co-pilot being co pilot -y. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. So let's do something. Let's see if this one will work. Um, please uh, retrieve the candidates that are have experience in private investigation. Um, so the idea of this copilot on the side, it's actually the copilot on the side, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, we can ask the questions and we can get the results. Might be that in this case, I do not have any uh, candidate with cybersecurity, mm -hmm. or it might be that the model will require some uh, reviews. Uh, but here, when we ask for the, ha the private investigation experience, because I, check double check we can see that jessica jones has that and if we scroll down we see here that the speciality is private investigation so you could see from the start how different prompts get different results mm -hmm. uh, also prompts might not get results because you don't have the data in the, your application right. and also uh, like how being quite clear it makes a lot of sense for mm -hmm. uh, prompting i love that how you're, you showed this difference, right, between a generic pr prompt and something so specific where you're able to really use, you know, some, um, have a much better meta prompt, not meta prompt, a much better user prompt to uh, really, what is the word, direct the LLM to give you what you're looking for. So that's great. I love yeah. that. So do you think... Thank you so much. Do you think that this is something that people who work in HR should be trained in when they are early in their career? Because yeah. it's not intuitive, right, to people who've never done AI before. Like, you want me to ask what in this box, right? You can't just search for, like, Tony Stark and get responses. Um, yeah. It's a completely different... 
what is the, it's a different thought process. It's a different method of even yes. thinking about it. So are you seeing opportunities that for people to go and train HR staff on doing these things? Is it a thing you do? Uh, it's something that I do. It's something mm -hmm. that I am very passionate. I mm -hmm. think that it helps a lot to reduce the workload. Yes. And uh, I was talking with a friend, um, a friend that we both know, mm -hmm. and he said that um, now that we use, like, you know, AI in almost everything, why mm -hmm. aren't we not using it in some businesses? And why mm -hmm. are we not learning how to prompt uh, within uh, our work environment? Mm -hmm. I think it's crucial for HR to start using this this uh, sort of skills. It will make the difference mm -hmm. uh, between people who will thrive in their careers yeah. and people who will survive until that one yeah. point and then no longer will survive. That's exactly so it. So yeah. I love it. I love it too. This is great. This is awesome. We This is our model that's from AI that is recognized in all this field that mm -hmm. has the name, the email, the phone, and so on. And we train this model so we can extract the data. That is not prompting, but it's also being able to understand where the data sits and creating the collections and also train those collections. Um, I will work on this uh, AI prompt summarization to make sure we uh, figure it out. Yeah. <laughs> But, you know, yes. you know what I think is so cool is that all this stuff is so new. It's like a few months old. That's it. And you already are finding so many interesting use cases for it and are figuring out like, OK, here's an AI tool. Here are the set of scenarios that it's really good for. And here's the set of scenarios it's not good for. And I think so much of AI is that. It's not just, hey, here's a tool. Apply it to everything. No, there's a set of projects that it's awesome for. And a set, it's really, no. and. I think the more we train and help people with that part, the 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 more effect, effective they'll be, right? Because so much of it is when to use AI. And I know you and I talk about this excessively. Like AI is awesome, but it's also expensive and unpredictable, like us. Um, so <laughs> really, it, it's a matter of like, when do you apply the expensive and unpredictable thing compared to when do you just need a normal old search? Yeah, um, I think that that's one of the main things that businesses are facing at the moment. Mm -hmm. Everyone wants AI, but no one really yes. knows what they want. Mm -hmm. And also, like the, does it make sense? Mm -hmm. How much does it cost? I, I put this example a lot, but how much does it cost for a person to do this mm -hmm. compared to how much it costs a model or AI model or power platform to create this for you? Right. For you, might be that makes sense might be that it doesn't make sense right. so it's a case that needs to be studied before jumping into directly into ai or everywhere exactly it's like what problem are you trying to solve can you solve it without ai and will ai make the solution so much better so much faster so much cheaper and once you know that then go investigate this model that model this tool that tool right ultimately it's yet another piece of technology and it applies to certain scenarios where it makes sense Awesome. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. I'm fully mm -hmm. with you. Mm -hmm. Anna, this has been a fascinating conversation. Thank you for the entire lesson in some of the intricacies of HR systems and the spectacular pain in the neck of looking at a million resumes. Um, and what are some of the ways that people in HR and recruiting can make their lives a little less terrible uh, when going through this process that's so hard anyway? Um, in it's just tooling, right? Good tool tooling. Yeah. And the ability yes. to get trained up and how to use it. Yes. Awesome. Um, I'm, yeah. I'm loving uh, advocating for AI for HR. So mm -hmm. any use case that you have in mind, just let me know and I will create it probably. I love it. You heard, you heard her, listeners, viewers. <laughs> if you have HR use cases, HR scenarios that you think are really annoying right now, and you're wondering if AI can apply to it, reach out to Anna. She is the expert. She's the foremost expert on the planet of AI and HR. <laughs> There's one person looking at this that I have seen, and it is this woman right here. So um, don't sleep on it, because you know, you know your org has HR issues. We all know that. So yeah. Awesome. Thank you so much for joining us, Anna. And thank you all for joining in to another episode of Copilot Learning Hub Live. <laughs>